Look at that pretty sky here in Dixon, Illinois on the 6th of what? February. Yeah. I just had to get this. Yeah, because it was beautiful. Kind of lovely. <laughs> I need something to cheer me up. Wonderland here in Libertyville, Illinois. They got all the snow. And boy, oh boy, what a challenge it was. But on the brighter side, the sun is coming out. Look at that sun. <laughs> I knew, I knew that the sun was going to come out. I knew for a fact. Because I was like, okay, I can sort of see it. There's the birds flying, birds flying high. You know how I feel. Yeah. Who is that? Yeah, Jennifer Hudson. That's her song. See, this is stuff that we have to go through out here on the road in the wintertime when it's freaking cold. It's like 11 degrees right now, right? And then my tires are locked the freak up, okay? I can't even move them out. So now I gotta use my hammer and everything to break the dang ice so loose from off my dang bricks, okay? My brake drums. And then I'm, put, I'm gonna put some airline stuff in there, you know? But I'm like, damn, it's freaking cold and I gotta, I'm underneath the dang trailer right now, as you see, okay? This is underneath the trailer. I'm on my knees. I am on my knees begging, please, let me get it, okay? So, here right now. I got a real bad problem with uh, frozen brakes in Wisconsin a couple of weeks ago. And I'm like, dang. Listen to that ice. that this has done it. We shall see here in a minute. Things you have to go through in the winter time when it's cold and freaking icy. I gotta freaking beat some more, okay? I'm like, fuck. You know I hate this, right? Because it's freaking cold. Yeah, line. Break any freeze. Okay. Then you put it back on. The uh, shop just told me to do to try to get these brakes released and I forgot from the last time I gotta push in my my uh, trailer brakes but have the um, yellow brake out you know so um, I'm getting ready to bang again and I think I bet you I'm gonna get it this time okay huh you live and you learn I beat them again and so I'm gonna see if uh, that did the trick I'm like I hope so Got that bitch. That bitch is pulling away from the dock, okay? I'm like, damn. I saved myself some time and I saved the company some money. I'm like, hip, hip, freaking hooray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, okay? For the knowledge. Because it's always good to learn something new every single day. And I learned something new and I ain't gonna forget it, okay? Don't you forget it. <laughs> Said, I said, I am a super trucker, no doubt about it. <laughs> the way some spotters just uh, drop trailers, they just don't give a damn. I mean, we wind up with all the damage. We, the drivers, we got to get it fixed. When they run over something or break something on a trailer, we, the drivers, have to do it. Now, I have been sitting here at the customer where I'm at. I just got in, got here like maybe five minutes ago. And I was sitting here watching the supposed trainer standing right there and then he folds his arms while his trainee, okay, is attempting to back in. Now he should be up there with his trainee telling his trainee exactly what to do, okay? But instead, he's standing right there with his arms folded, okay? With his arms folded. Like, okay, all right, you know, I didn't show you what to do. Not, not what you're going to do, okay? Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. 
But he's just walking around the bat. Maybe he's a trainee too, huh? And he just don't know how to help him. So he sees me coming down here to uh, approach him, right? So then he walks up there, uh, up to the front where, you know, uh, the driver is at. And I guess he's uh, getting ready to talk to him now, right? But you know, it, had, it took me to come over here and, and talk to him. After I had to intimidate him in helping his trainee, okay? I'm like, okay, what kind of sense is that? But he could have just helped him more and more instead of just backing it in himself. You know, he could have taught him, you know, taught him how to back in instead of just folding his arms and watching him. Yeah. I woke up to this this morning. Rain and ice. Look at all the ice on the wiper blades. And everybody's talking about it out there on the road because it's just freaking raining like freaking crazy. Got all the ice all on my mirror bracket right there. I'm like, dang. And I gotta get out there in it. It's what, 32 degrees? Freaking raining like crazy, you know? But um, I know I gotta get out there in it. Um, but if I don't feel safe, I'm not gonna continue in it, you can believe that. But um, right now it's just raining like freaking crazy. Blowing like freaking crazy. Um, icing, you know, up. You know, the, the rain is freezing. But, but I tell you, <laughs> it's an ugly day. It's a very, very ugly day. I tell you, <laughs> what a life. Life on the road. I tell you, ain't nothing worse than being cold and wet in a winter town. Whew. Damn, it's cold. And it's raining, okay? Like, like freaking crazy. feet got wet, okay? They got wet. These evidently were not waterproof boots, which I did not know. So, I want some dry feet. And so, I'm right here at a Walmart where I delivered at. You know, I didn't deliver at Walmart, but you know. But in the same town. And so I said, let me go and get me some boots. I can, say, I can take some time out for me to get me some boots to dry my feet off, okay? So that's what I did of waterproof boots, okay? And here they are. That's my new pair of waterproof boots. So now, my feet will not get wet. Cause I'm like, my brand new boots, and I'm gonna be a happy camper again. <laughs> yeah, baby.